I'm never prepared when I start to film these videos. <laughs> so I have to open my notes. I have to make sure I put this on the right side for the thumbnail. <sighs> Sorry. Hello YouTube! So it's the end of the month which means that today's video is another book of the month video and this month I have been reading Provence A to Z by Peter Mail. If you're new here, hello my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Now let's get into the video. So for the month of February I've been reading this book about Provence that my mom gave me over the holiday season. My parents went on a trip to Provence last year and absolutely loved it and couldn't stop talking about it when they came back and can't stop talking about it now because they loved it so much and wanted to bring that joy of Provence to me and my sisters. So they got some books about Provence by Peter Mail because he's written 11 books about Provence in total over the course of his writing career and they wanted us to get a little bit of an idea of what Provence is really like. I think we have three of his books at the current moment. I'm reading this one obviously because it's the one that I have. My sisters and I are switching between all of them as well as my mom too so we're kind of cycling through all these different books that we have by Peter Mail about Provence. So before I got this book from my parents, oh my mother is literally calling me as I'm filming this. So before I got this book from my parents, I literally had never heard of Peter Mail before. I knew about Provence obviously from my parents, but didn't really know too much about it. And this book is, I think, the perfect way to get to know a bit more about Provence and Peter Mail as a writer. Provence A to Z is basically a dictionary of all the things that Peter Mail loved the most about Provence in his time living there. I'm going to read you guys the back of the book because it gives a perfect description of what this book is about. The ultimate dictionary for lovers of Provence, Peter Mail's personal selection of the foods, customs, and words he finds most fascinating, curious, delicious, or just plain fun. Though organized alphabetically, this is hardly a conventional work of reference. In more than 170 entries, Peter Mail, best-selling author of A Year in Provence, writes about subjects as wide-ranging as architecture and zing zing zoon in the local patois, a word meant to describe the sound of violin. And of course he writes about food and drink, vin rosé, truffles, olives, melons, bula base, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, the cheese that killed a Roman emperor, and even a cure for indigestion. Provence A to Z is a delight for Peter Mail's ever-growing audience and the perfect complement to any guidebook on Provence, or for that matter, France. I agree with everything that is written on the back of that book to describe it because really it feels like a personal guidebook to Provence, but you're not getting a lot of the touristy kind of things that you might get in a normal guidebook. You're getting Peter Mail's version of Provence and it allows you to see things that are a bit more off the beaten path but also things that he really loves that it makes it feel like it's a personalized guidebook for you. Peter Mail really brings you into what Provence is like from his point of view and I really love that about guidebooks in particular because I think it's such an interesting way to view a country because if you're not getting the specific things that are just from a generalized guidebook like the the Pantheon in Greece and like the Eiffel Tower in, in Paris it just kind of feels like you're getting the specific things that are like this is a tourist thing. This is this very specific big thing that everybody can go see but if you're getting a personalized guidebook then you're getting these small little places that you wouldn't find in a normal guidebook. So I feel like it's a really interesting way to write a book especially that's kind of like a dictionary of the place and also Provence isn't in my opinion something that I really have known about except for my parents. Like I'd heard about it before but not majorly so this is a really good way to be very fully introduced to Provence of the place. In the way that Peter Mail writes it really reminds me of a very well first travel guide. It honestly reminds me of my Israeli tour guide on my birthright trip, David, who if you watch any of my birthright vlogs, he is in there a ton. So this book reminds me of exactly like how he described everything to us in our trip. Peter Mail is giving so much information about Provence and about the subjects that he's talking about in each specific section, but he's peppering it with personal stories, fun little tidbits of information, and metaphors that really make it feel very personalized and very fun. He also makes everything in the food, in the history, and the locations that he's talking about very, very real. So it feels like you're literally sitting with him in Provence and he's taking you to a specific place with him and talking about the food that you can find there or something about garlic that he talks about a lot in the beginning of the book. So it's a really cool way to be learning about a place that I've never been before. I wanted to read specifically the first paragraph on page three, which is right at the very beginning of the book because when I was reading it, I started laughing because I was like, this feels very, very French in the way that he's writing it, but I feel like it perfectly exemplifies how his writing is throughout the entire book. There's a popular misconception that the language spoken in Provence is French. It resembles French, certainly, indeed. In written form, it is almost identical. But remove it from the page and apply it to the ear, and Provencal French might easily be another language. If words were edible, Provencal speech would be a rich, thick, pungent verbal stew, simmered in an accent filled with twanging consonants, a civette, perhaps, and, or maybe a dove. I definitely pronounced some of those French words in their own, probably Provencal as well, but that literally describes 
exactly perfectly how Peter Mail talks about things in this book because he literally compared language to a stew. Like, I've never read a book written that way. I think it's such an interesting way to describe a place too and describe a language because you get so much about the place and the language just from that specific description and you can tell that Peter Mail has done his research and spent a lot of time in Provence by the way he writes everything in this book. Peter Mail personifies Provence in a very specific way that you feel like you really have to go there to fully understand it and fully experience everything that he's talking about in the book. And it's kind of a really good like travel kind of book too, because if you want to learn about a place, it's really good to learn about it from somebody who's really personally experienced it. And Peter Mail does that really well. He makes you want to travel to the place just in the way that he writes this book. So overall, if you're looking for a fun book about a specific place that you've never traveled to or if you've ever been to Provence, I'd say this is a really, really great book to read. I'm excited to read the other books that my sisters and my mom are sharing reading. And because this is kind of a guidebook, I want to read the other books because they are fiction, I'm pretty sure. So it'll be interesting to read about them in that kind of way instead of it being like, oh, this is him telling the story and him telling his experiences versus it being about characters that are in Provence and experiencing things in Provence. If you've read Provence A to Z by Peter Mail, let me know about that in the comments down below. And if there are any other books you'd like me to read and talk about here on my channel for my Book of the Month series, let me know about that in the comments down below as well. And as always, if there's anything you would like to see in particular here as well, let me know about that in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching DFTVA, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!